Greetings, and thank you for renting from Full Service Property Management. Uh, I'm Peter Nelson, the CEO of Full Service, and today I'd like to show you how to navigate through your tenant portal. It's a very useful tool for you during your tenancy with us, and we certainly hope you will utilize it and get the most uh, out of it to help your experience be as fulfilling as it could be. Uh, I'm going to assume for the time being that you can log into your uh, tenant portal. You need your email address and also a password. If you cannot log in, please see your property manager, get those uh, login instructions so you can get in. And now I'm going to assume that you're in. And so here's the home page. And what you're going to see along the top are uh, some tabs and we'll be getting to those shortly. You can put your picture in here so you know what you look like. Um, you can all, there's other places to do this, but you can always add a, a maintenance request real quickly um, through the tenant portal. We actually prefer that. That way it's in writing, uh, don't call us. Um, and uh, so you can do this on the home page if you want. Below that, we just have some general community messages of importance in terms of if you have an emergency, um, who to call, that sort of thing. Uh, this talks about, you know, how uh, avoiding late payments and, and also how to set up auto e-payments and avoid those pesky $2 convenience charges every month. Uh, this is uh, a little note saying, hey, we offer brokerage services to our tenants. We, If you're thinking about buying a house, a lot of tenants think, oh, I don't want to tell my property manager because then otherwise, you know, they'll know I'm moving. To be honest with you, we're okay with that. And uh, if you are looking for a house and you don't have a property manager, then we'd encourage you to give us a call. Uh, we do have uh, brokers on staff and we're willing to go out there and help you find uh, uh, that uh, perfect place for you. So um, feel free to give us a call if you want. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> um, down here, here's just kind of just some summary stuff. Uh, this is for a um, for John Doe. You know him. He's got his wife, Jane. Uh, you'll see in here, you'll see what the deposit that we're holding for you. That usually includes your security deposit and last month's rent deposit. Um, John hasn't been, John Doe hasn't been paying his rent, but ordinarily you'll just see one month's rent in here. Um, you have to excuse us for that. Here's your insurance policy. Uh, we didn't set that up in this um, make uh, makeup portfolio, but you're required to have renter's insurance and you can access it here. And then um, we just have the contact information for you as well. So that's kind of, that summarizes the home uh, up here. If you have any questions, I forgot to point out, uh, the help me uh, menu here can help you navigate whatever I'm not uh, explaining or what you forget. And certainly there's your logout. If we go into the My Rentals tab, this has, um, you can set up your uh, your payment accounts. This is again for auto ePay or even just for your monthly payment if you want to do that on a monthly basis. Uh, you can change or review your scheduled payments. And uh, you can, if you're planning to move out, maybe you bought a house, you can give notice and you can certainly print. And in this tab, My Rentals, this is your ledger. This is your tenant ledger. And what you need to understand from this <clears throat> is that you want to read this from the bottom up. It's in chronological order with the most recent activity at the top. So you have to read it in reverse order. Okay. But here you can see all the credits, all the charges, uh, late fees, any other fees that might have been assessed. And you can bring those up with your property manager if uh, you have questions about them. You can also set up your payments uh, through my, oh, this, you can't set it up. As you go in to my, uh, my payments to actually set it up. But here, uh, and actually there is a, uh, you can either uh, also view your scheduled uh, uh, payments. Uh, so you can see what's coming out and when. But this basically just says, uh, you know, what you're withdrawing from, which account. 
The maintenance tab is really important because this is going to be where you're going to also, there's another spot where you can uh, submit a maintenance request and it's going to have your history of maintenance work orders, the ones that you created as well as the ones that we've created. So you can see the kind of work that was done, when it was done, that sort of thing. Under the documents tab is where you're going to find your lease, all your disclosures and any other pertinent documents in there. Um, and um, here's a lead paint disclosure. Here's some lease documents, 10 day notices, three day. Hopefully you don't get any of those. You pay your uh, rent on time, that sort of thing. And then finally, uh, this is where we upload your renter's insurance and it will be displayed here. So you have contact information, that sort of information. If you do have an event that requires that. So, the tenant portal isn't designed to replace your property manager. It's designed really to take uh, 70 to 80% of your questions and answer them. But we're always there. We have a property managers on staff, always there to help you with any specific questions you have. We want to make sure that uh, your experience with full service property management is a very good one, that you're very happy. And that's our primary concern. Uh, so thanks again for uh, visiting uh, and renting from full service and make it a great day.